Right. Uh, last week, actually, uh, we have explained about how to add cookies. And today, uh, we have to finish that. Actually, we uh, learn a cookie-based login. Today, what we have to do is we have to uh, finish uh, deleting and updating. I'll do that first, and then I'll go to the uh, remaining part, which is actually uh, log session-based login, right? So that I'll explain, because that is extra thing. Anyway, uh, so our expectation is create, retrieve, update, delete, insert, and select we have already done. Uh, insert in pictures, upload in pictures already done. And today let's discuss about the remaining part. Right, let me open brackets. And uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use the same login that we have created last day. And in the admin page, what I can display, actually since after the login, I can display uh, important things like uh, editing and deleting the users. Okay, let me go to our admin page. This is... Mm, after login, we'll go to the, this is logout page, the login page. And after that, we are navigating to the, which is the login page. Now, this is the admin area, right? In the login page, you are displaying the admin area. In admin area, basically admin area is displayed only when the username and passwords are correct. So correct usernames and passwords added. Then only the admin area is visible. Actually, I just want to, display the details i'm going to create another file the php file this php file actually i'm going to display uh, the related uh, user details user authentication things related things i'm going to display that actually Is here i log now yeah what are you going to do? Uh, just I'm, I'm discussing about the deleting and updating DB part. Right? Okay. Uh, and uh, here, actually, you are checking whether the same username, same password, the password equal the password and empty password, then the admin area. Actually, uh, I'm, I'm going to use a variable dollar uh, auth. So basically, it's zero. But when the password and username correct and password is equal, password is given and username, password, both are same. Both are actually matching with the database. I'm setting a dollar auth. Because initially it's zero. Initially dollar auth is zero. But if password and this password equal, I'm setting dollar auth to one. A dollar auth variable to one. Okay, based on the dollar auth variable, I'm going to create another PHP file. I'm checking if dollar uh, auth equal one. If it is equal to one, I'm going to display these details. So first of all, what I'm going to display, this is actually uh, another PHP file. Let's save this in the application MAM folder. application mem folder here uh, inside our ht docs i'm going to save this as a uh, is this login system or my which one we were referring this is login system right? login, system. login system okay there I'm, I'm going to save this as a list users dot php and what this is going to do actually it's going to take everything from the database dollar query equal select all from uh, the table name is can you remember the table name now you are working with this right i think you can also remember tbl user right uh, tbl user right yes select all from tbl user actually i'm going to display all the users so this is my query and dollar uh, then dollar result is equal to my sql i my sql i query then i have to run the dollar query with that connection dollar query should be executed and that is all the users then i have to say while each row i have to tell dollar row equal my sqli fetch associative array as of then the dollar result 
each row I'm going to display. So let's say let's echo echo dollar row. So we need the user ID dollar row. Uh, I think we have to access the database. I just cannot remember the credentials. Sorry, I just uh, I cannot I cannot remember the way values given in the database. If you can just tell me, otherwise I'm going to access my database. Let's see what are the values there. Okay, uh, then DB user. Under that, the table is DBL user. Under that, uh, let's go to the browse and see what are the field names. Field names are UID, FN, LN, email, pass, and picture. Uh, okay, dollar row. UID. Uh, oh, I can just mention 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 also, right? But one method is just referring this UID and all. Oh, I can just get 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, that is also possible. UID and I have to actually user. User ID colon. This is my user ID. Concatenate. Uh, and then, okay, then let's say after you side, let's uh, make it, uh, let's uh, display this in a table. Right, let's display everything in the table. In while loop, the condition my SQL or my cell. SQL item. So my SQL page. As of now, it's correct. Echo. I'm going to echo the table. Uh, border. Border equal one, and then echo as the first table row. Uh, okay, I'm going to echo the table row. Echo the table row, and under that, uh, the first table data uh, is user ID. Then I'm going to display the user ID as the second table data. TD and TD open. Then the second table data that is dollar uh, UID. And let's after that, let's draw the table data. And also draw the table row. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dynamically generate. Dynamically generate a row. Then after that, the next table data. Table in the army, me table like a mother, may get table like a The Maika Hadagan, the paper in the the table like a data out of table like a Only the data will come from the database. I have to create the table. Table won't come, only the data will come. So, how to create that table dynamically? So, that's what I'm doing here. Okay, the next step uh, is uh, uh, without loss in this row, actually, I have to add other, other data items. Uh, you have first name and that I can add uh, to both first name and last name. I can display together name. Just say name. Name is equal to uh, uh, first name space uh, dot dollar row uh, the last name. LN. Okay, that will give the first name and last name. Then uh, Email is required. This is email. Email is required here. Email. Password actually I need that, but uh, just want to. So without showing the password, that actually I just want to display that as uh, maybe some hidden characters. To do that, you know, we can use the form. Right? We can use the form uh, to display that. Let's echo password. Actually, the password I'm going to display this inside uh, here. Uh, what I'm going to do is inside TD, I'm going to input type input type equal password. Input type equal password and value equal uh, value equal this uh, pass. Yes, value well, equal pass. Then I'm going to close the input.
okay then i'm displaying the password the input type password and so here also you can add the input type sorry i forgot that i'm just adding the text boxes input type uh, not uh, password i can say text value equal this and uh, also i need the name right name equal uh, i can say uh, name equal mm, 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 mm. what is the name equal uid here then actually i have to differ, uh, differentiate this first name and first name uh, first name is there then the last name i have to write separately right because otherwise like it's here and uh, name equal uid name equal first name here fn here and the next one uh, name equal last name value equal this one then name equal value equal uh, this one name equal value equal name equal okay likewise i can i have to generate these inputs so let's add inputs to the beginning this is my input for the first name this is the input for the email input type text sorry not test text text here text here a value equal this one and name equal first name here name equal email here Actually, I need one row for last name also, one data for last name also. Then the last name should come with LN. Here it should be LN. I'm recreating the form using those values. Password, okay. So then what else? I need picture. Picture is also there. So let's add, uh, so let's display the picture. <coughs> let's uh, display the picture. Just paste in it again, uh, the picture. Picture I'm showing input type uh, text. No, for picture actually, I need to have the file, file upload one, but then that will be complex. So except picture, okay, except the picture, so you, you actually need to change the picture also. You need to re-upload and change the picture. That facility should be given. Right? But for the moment, just drop it. You can do this, but you have to write the file upload in code. Can you remember the file upload in code we did last day? Uh, before uh, Day before the last day. You have to regenerate that. But you have to regenerate the file upload in one. Therefore, I'm, I'm keeping that part just empty for the moment but let's say if time permit you can do that so if time permits we'll do that right then uh, let me close the tr and finally close the table and then the after finishing this i have to close the table that's it okay so let's uh, save this and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, here I have not connected to the database, nothing is there. But if I try to access this file, you can see it will be a blank, list users. If I try to access listusers.php, listusers.php, it's blank basically because, why it is blank? Because, uh, you know, the auth is not set to one. If authorized only, this will be displayed. That means you have to log in and come to this and then only, that will be displayed. Actually, the list users you don't want here. You are going to add this uh, into the login page. This place. Uh, here, after the admin area, I can include or require ones. I can require the file. What is the file name? File name is uh, list users.php. So here, I am I'm going to teach another concept. That means if there's a related file, you can just link it. That will come to the related place. Now let, let's uh, try to log in using this ASDDS, it's hason.jits.lk and then ASDDS. ASDDS. 
Let's remember and log in. Okay. <coughs> you can see the wonderfulness of this. You can see the user IDs, Kasun Madurang, and all these things, and the password. But password is masked, right? Password is masked, and but it is shown in the table. I actually this has some complexity, right? So it's showing each and every row. It's showing the user ID, first name, last name. That is like unnecessary thing. Password. That is unnecessary, right? You can just show that in the heading section. You can show this user ID, first name, last last name, email, and password. That can be manually written. Here, echo <coughs> table, <coughs> sorry, table row with the uh, table row with the uh, table data. The first one is user ID, then the table data close. What are the other columns? User ID. user id first name and then the last name and then the email and then the password okay, you are going to redisplay these values and now actually you don't need this uh, the beginning row beginning uh, data part because we are going to display that as a heading. Otherwise, this is unnecessary trouble, trouble because you are repeating the same data set again, which is really unwanted. Save this, refresh, and you can see, oh, what is that? So let's log in back. Kasunetjits.lk, A, S, double D, S. A S double D S login. Uh, 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 this blank, something wrong. Uh, yes, semicolon missing. Save, refresh. Okay, you can see. That's better, right? You can see these are editable. These are editable. Everything is there as editable fields. Now, actually, we have to give a button in front of these two. Maybe update and delete. Let's add two, uh, two more buttons, operations. Here actually update. A button called update as with the TD. And everything I'm going to update here. And also uh, another table data for deleting. Two table data. So then I'm going to add two buttons. The first button is just coming after this table data. That is input. Yeah, or just assign that to a variable. Dollar operations equal table data inside that input type type. Uh, equal input type equal submit name equal let's say uh, name equal save value equal I'm going to pass the value of um, let's create here value is equal to let's pass the id as the value value is equal to this name is equal to save value is equal to this okay input type name value this this is for deleting. Okay, this is for deleting. 
and you need another one for updating. Uh, here, update. And the another one, another one for. So this table data need to be finished. Another table data for updating. Another table data for update, updating and deleting, sorry. Delete and this, yes, showing this ID again. And that is the operation and I'm going to add operation to each and every row. Otherwise I have to write it again and again. That's why I just use a short way of doing that. Just concatenating, just adding the operations to each row. So then you can see, okay. Oh, no, 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 not there. Should come after the row, sorry, 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 sorry. my mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Should come after the row, the operations. Okay, then what has happened there before table row actually? You have to carefully analyze that before table row, the operation should come. Now you can see, okay, update, delete. The button two will update use ID two and delete will update that one, right? Because just showing the value there because I just want to pass that value. When I click this, it should submit the form Right and update. When I click this, it should submit the form and delete. Here, yeah. it's showing this, the ID. Actually, if you want to, uh, yeah, if you want to, maybe, let's say if you want to skip that part without, uh, without a submit button, then you can do something like this. You can do, Mm. Yes, because if this is showing number two and three, it's like it's like meaningless. I want to show that as update and delete, update and delete. So in case I can just write a link without this, I can write a link. Without all this thing, I can write a link. Uh, href equal, let's say update.php question mark id equal then this id id equal this id update.php id equal this id then after that hmm, update and after that the link is closed so this is another way of doing the same because the previous way is meaningless. That's why I'm adding this one and just creating, just finishing the table data. Now it is, uh, it looks like more meaningful. So let me show why it is meaningful. And uh, another thing needed for the deleting part. Delete.php. Href equal delete.php. Href equal update. Okay, here double quotation, not, no need not to be closed. ID equal double quotation here, concatenation the ID, then double quotation here, delete.php. ID equal double quotation, concatenate, double quotation, this one. Okay, correct. Save. Now, if I refresh, you can see this as update, 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 and delete buttons. It's more meaningful. So it's showing something called update and something called delete. And the ID is uh, update ID equal the dollar or UID. UID is not that seems. No, ID is blank. So why, what has happened? ID is displayed here. Dollar row UID. Dollar row UID. ID equal dollar row UID. Okay, that is there. 
but it is not printed. So let's see the course uh, code. Oh, it's wonderfully. The link, link, link. I need the link. Uh, it's right. Sir, yes. Click the line wrap button, then you can see it. Sorry. In that uh, view page source. Yeah. A wrap line. Yeah, wrap line is there, but the thing is that uh, yeah, ID equal two is there, right? ID equal two is there. Uh, that is with the quotation, right? I have to remove the quotation because this is so that is my mistake. Sorry, okay. It is continuous thing. Remove the quotation, then I think it's uh, it should be visible as a single link. And yes, yeah, ID equal to. Uh, href id equal to then close it after two uh, href id equal to and then close it here close it here here also you have to close it here the code should be properly generated right link check up okay hurry it up then no i then i hurry the key update uh, id equal to me honey link when i click this link it's going to that page but that page is not there right because we have not created that Right, okay. So these things are repetitive. You can just try it. So now you can see the code and everything. The wait, link is, you can see the status bar here. Status bar, when you go on top of this, you can see update to, delete to, update three, delete three, update uh, four, delete four. So it's dynamically generating that links. Now I need two more files. What are they? I need the two update more files. and delete. Update and delete. So another file is update.php. Let me save this as update.php in the same location. Applications, uh, map. Inside that, HD logs. Login system. Update.php. And another one that is delete.php. Let me file save as delete.php. Now I have two things, two files, which is update.php, delete.php. Actually, delete.php should delete. If you are authorized, if you are authorized person, we know how to check that. So if the cookie is set, so, but we have the cookie based login, which can be manipulated, which is not secure, but still, still we can use that cookie base cookie to check whether uh, the user is valid. Right? You know that if uh, these cookies are set, if uh, the username is set, password is set, the user is valid. And actually, we can set another cookie also here. So, based on this, you can set another cookie. So, all our cookies now, right? Cookie of cookie cookies. A lot of cookies. Here in the login.php, actually, we said that auth equal zero, no auth equal one, no. But instead of that, what we can do? We can set a cookie. Right? Uh, here, actually, uh, I'm setting a cookie. The cookie auth, auth equal uh, one. Auth value is one, and the time also set. I'm setting a time. This one. This is actually zero, no? When you are not logging, but when you are logging, when it is successful, you are setting a cookie, and that that cookie is one. Successfully set the cookie one, then me that means you are authorized. Authorized. You to remember the status in cookie, and in this uh, list users, you are checking instead of this auth equal one. So auth can be taken using dollar auth equal dollar underscore cookies. So I think you can remember how we have taken that here. Dollar underscore cookies, the value. We are, did we taken that is in the index.php? Yes, here. Dollar cookie error. Similarly to that, I can get the value of dollar cookie here in the delete.php. 
oh no or the php i can get uh, one this dollar cookie or if it is one you just do that if this is one you just do that let's check that now the cookie base now Kason, what is the password a as b s a s s d s is it no sir double d a s double d s remember the setting and you can see authorize uh -uh, but you still you are not seeing that uh, you are not seeing that cannot see that login here means that of dollar auth equal dollar cookie auth if auth equal one dollar auth auth equal one inside the quotation sorry save this so this small thing matters let's refresh yes get in that okay you can use same thing to check whether i'm authorized delete page if i'm authorized because other users won't be able to delete right if you don't have the username and password how should you delete you should not be able to delete so this one i'm checking whether i'm authorized if I'm authorized, simple as that, I can delete. What is the deletion query? I think Lithuans and uh, Gayatmi, both of you can remember the query. Yes. How do we delete? We have done this in Python. That me cannot remember. What is the query for deleting? On mm. that, delete from table user where delete from table user where ID ID is it? UID. Yeah, UID equal, you have to give the UID. Yeah, UID equal, you have to pass the proper UID, this concatenate dollar underscore get UID. Actually, I'm going to get that UID and generate that. How come it is? I'm going to, let's, let me go the query. Call the query. Okay, first of all, the delete will work. Let me refresh. And I'm trying to delete the first one. You can see uh, delete from users where UID equal nothing is there because this is ID. URL like in pass can when you pass something in the URL, you can get that printed using dollar gate. That is ID, right? Sorry, not UID. Here you are passing ID. Then dollar underscore get ID. So let me refresh, delete, and you can see delete from the table user, delete from table user where ID equal to, that is what we want to delete. Then make a tree delete curve. If I delete tree, delete from table user where UID equal to three. That is the dynamic link. Delete from table user where UID equal to four. That is what we have generated. Now we have link to the link. And UID can make it in the link is in the link. We have created that means list use a link a case around UID a dagat. It's ref killer link a case around UID a dagat. We just put the UID when you click that, uh, then it's going to show that UID also. Now we are in the deleting page. Now, only thing is we have to execute the query. So, if you have done that, just execute the query. How to execute the query? You know that dollar result equal my sql i underscore query the dollar connection dollar connection and dollar query but actually the connection should be available to you so what is the connection connection need to be created because this is a separate page right um 
create in the connection here again because that is needed. I have to create the connection and after creating the connection only I can apply that <coughs> code. And okay, if dollar press, if this is successful, I can tell yes, we have deleted. Right, uh, you can say echo deletion successful. And we can navigate the user back to code deletion successful. We can go to the list users. Again, echo br another br two break rules, and I can go to a href equal uh, list users dot php again i'm navigating to that list user page list users okay if i'm successful i'm navigating to that place if not else echo i can say something went wrong something went wrong so also i can navigate to the okay even if this or if other thing i can navigate this to navigate to the other page so let's try this now save i'm trying to delete kasun madurang oh gihan pera delete it something went wrong very good <laughs> something went wrong delete from table user via uid equal this uh, rest uh, the connection the query if press i think it's not deleted so let's see no behind pair is still there something went wrong delete asterisk oh, it's wrong wrong delete from table users my query error let's try go back delete deletion successful list users oh no one is there so let's go back go back as well and refresh okay i can see two users right it's only two users there because i had a hard refresh actually these two users won't happen let's give me an empty table maybe i can go back to the index page right Let's go back to the index.php. Okay, let's do it again. List users and you can see the index page. Try to log in on the one view says there. Successfully delete in the record. Now I have only one record there. Okay, so now my login system allow me to delete users, but to do that, I need some drown work. First of all, I want to display all the users. That is one thing. And also, I have to set cookie here. In login.php, I'm setting the authorized cookie. If authorized, I'm allowed to list users and I'm also allowed to delete users. Okay, I'll give you the time now. You can just try this quickly. Right, uh, let's go to the login.php and do the required change there. Sir, so do we want, uh, we want to write that uh, set cookie or one time only? Which one? Yes, set cookie this one. I just added these two lines just to authorize, right? Your existing code can be. Right now, now you have more work to do. I have less work to do. You have more work to do. I can teach, but I know you have to practice a lot because now this is getting.